guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something special. And I have here one of my good friends, my good Judy, my sister, Miss Kraz, aka Humble underscore Honey. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna unbox this nice package that I got from Jeffree Star and Milani Cosmetics. A couple of weeks ago, Sir Jeffrey, you know, Uncle Jeffrey, people who live. Um, he did a little giveaway on his channel with uh, Milani Cosmetics. So pretty much you competed, you commented, you liked, and you would win a whole box of Milani products that's worth over $500, which girl, we live for that. <laughs> okay. We like coin. Right, you like coin, honey? I like it cool. And I also got the Blue Glove Palette, which is an amazing palette with an amazing formula. So first, before I start, I want to thank Jeffrey for this package and Milani Cosmetics for this amazing opportunity. And we're just going to get right now and start this cute unboxing. Okay. I'm uh, like, ooh, Woo! that's a lot of... <laughs> so there's so much shit in there here. Is. Like, look at all of everything that I got. Like, wow, oh my God. So I'm gonna start little by little. I think we're gonna start first by picking up everything that's complexion first. Yeah. And then we'll focus on anything that's eyes, anything that's new, or anything that's just pretty much interesting to us. So <laughs> the first thing I see when opening this package is we got powder puffs. For you, me, your friends, the whole down the street, we got powder puffs for everybody. So we got powder puffs. Like that's it. that's that on the ass. I and think these are actually machine washable too. Really? The clean one. We gonna check. Girl, I'm gonna put it in the washer. See that shit blow up. Check. <laughs> All right. The other thing we got that I actually got from the credit that they sent me as well is I got the per Conceal Perfect Two in One Foundation. I haven't tried this yet, so we'll see how this feels. Have you tried What's the claim on that? I have not, actually. I am not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I am a high-end Barbie when it comes to complexion. Same, pretty much the same. Um, and that's because I've been very blessed to work in different, you know, makeup counters. The claims with this product are, it's medium to full coverage, which we like. Okay. It's lightweight, oil-free formula. It's long-wearing, water-resistant, which I will be the judge of that. Yes. Well, and it's, it's sweat-proof as well. Swimming in the first day. <laughs> right, to the pool. Well, they said resistant, not proof, but I'm really excited about this. Yeah, but we'll, we'll take it to the water park. We'll take it to our water country. Yeah. All right, so the next thing I see here that's for complexion, which is the bronzer. And this is the Silky Matte Bronzers. This is the bronzy powder. This is the shade Sun Kiss, which I imagine is for almost fair to light skin from the way this shade looks. Yeah, she looks... <laughs> Let me see it's how much. But the thing is, I received actually, I think, like five or six shades. So, oh, so it's actually tropical coconut scented. Oh, really? She's blendable, streak free. She's weightless and long wearing. That's a claim. That's everything. That's a okay. claim. I'm ready. We'll be the judge of that as well. I we want to see if these go deep enough. Yeah, I have a total. Let me count how many shades I got. There's oh, do you want to give them a shade reference to the foundation? Oh, yeah. Like what we are. So what do you normally wear? I wear usually when it comes to my foundation and the shade that I use. And Maybelline fit me on 120. In Born This Way, I'm new. And in Fenty Beauty, I'm either like a 185 or a 190. Okay. What about you? I wear Becca Skin Love. Everybody that follows Ooh. my channel and stuff knows that I'm a Becca girl. So I love Becca Skin Love, Sienna. Um, and Ooh. then in Fit Me, I don't know because I don't have an exact shade. So I mix. Um, right. And then I think I'm between, I use 170, 375, sorry, to contour, and I believe I use the 355 for a lighter shade. Mm -hmm. um, in NARS concealer, I am Mond, Ooh, or sometimes hello. I use Cafe. So those That's are cute. I used to use Cafe for a long time to like contour. contour a little bit. Yeah, it's a good shade. I love that shade. That's it. The thing we got here. More bronzers. More bronzers as well. How many shades did they send you? Okay, so we got... Let me count in total. The amount of shades... Oh, wow. Four shades of bronzers so far. What we're going to do now is we're pretty much going to open all these bronzers. And this is the first shade. It's a serial one. Silky Man is in the shade Sunlight. And from what I can see, this is, you can tell, it's a bronzer. For very, very, like, fair skin tones. Like, this is super, super fair. But that's amazing, though. The fact that they can make a shade that light, that's really, really good, though. But can they make darker than that? <laughs> That'll be the question. So one thing that we noticed when it comes to the shade names is that they all start with the name Sun. However, they're all descriptions of how we would be described in terms of your appearance. So oh, for yeah. example, zero one is the shade of uh, sunlight. The zero two is sun kiss. And zero three sun tan. So basically they go in sections like that. And the darkest one that I have right here is called sun, sun drench, drench. Which I think is appropriate. Like it's hot. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a darker color. Very much like a little bit more warm as well. Ooh, that was a good swap. I'm still girl. nervous. Like, 
<laughs> like I'm gagged. Like this is this is pigment shit. This is really really good. So that actually took me off guard. I didn't right. think it was gonna be that dark. I looked that dark on camera, but it's actually pretty dark. Right. I was kind of gagged because I was like, maybe it's going to come out a little bit too warm, maybe a little bit too red. But it actually came out a little bit like a warmer undertone, which I actually really do appreciate. So, good on that. Uh, so, now that we did that, now that we got the bronzers, another thing that I've noticed here, which I can't wait to try, is I got two eyeshadow palettes. I got the Pure Passion palette from Milani and the Muscle Up Mattes. The difference between both of them is one of them has more of neutral colors, more mattes, more of those brown tones, brown colors that you usually use as transition. So basically anything that's warm tone and matte, this is the palette for you. So this looks very, very pretty. And then the other one I bought because I really like the color scheme, this is called Pure Passion. And Pure Passion is basically more shimmers, more like slightly uh, light color matte. And we're gonna open them now. So as you can see here, oh, I love packaging. the packaging. The packaging is so cute. This is sickening. I like her. And oh, I love this. Oh, those. she's, I wasn't expecting This is that. a cute color selection. You know what this reminds me of? What? So this kind of gives me very much uh, Tarte and Bloom. Right, It gives so me very true. much like Tarte and Tartius palette. Oh, thank So you. we're gonna see how those do. Right, we're gonna see swatches. if they're really nice. But what we're gonna do is, she's gonna do five swatches on her hand, I'm gonna do five on mine, and Basically, we're gonna see how the pigmentation is. So these shades uh, have names on the back, so that's good. It says layer and blend matte and metallic textures for a unique. Side note: Can y'all please put the names above right. the shadows? It's, it's time. I don't know how to just. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch the lightest. Ooh. Whoa. I'm gonna swatch this brown. All right. I'm just going back like one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then orange. These are pretty pigmented. And then wow. let's do like a blush. Now obviously for somebody mm -hmm. my tone, this is gonna be really great for transitions. This is not something that I probably would do a full look from, but this exactly. is very much bridal. And then we'll do like this more beige color. Okay. Right, so go ahead Los colores. Swatch them I'm all so we can see the color. So let's see that Okay. Oh wow. With Ooh. no primer. Wow. Yeah, with no primer, I'm actually excited. I'm real gag. Like, this gag, y'all see? There we so go. So as you can see, like, they're actually quite pigmented from what I thought they were. Like, and I don't have on any lotion. I purposely, like, didn't wear any body uh -huh. products. I don't have on any perfume, so there's nothing for the shadows to stick to. Right. And even when you, like, blend them out, I still have. Wow. That's, that's a really good formula for what it is. That's really great for drugstore. The drugstore? Hey, Ms. Milani, you stepped it up. Well, now I'm really gagged this palette. It. It's called Pure Passion. And we're gonna, I think the shades I'm gonna take, yeah. I'm gonna take this first cute shade. It's called Afterglow, which is like a champagne mm -hmm. color. And the second shade I'm gonna take is the shade called Biggest Flirt, which is so cute. So the third shade I'm gonna pick is this bronzy color called oh, Desert Getaway. And then just for the sake of it, I'm gonna put another matte, which is Spice It Up, which is this brown right here. And as you can see, they're very much like spice. Look at these metallic Milani, I mean, I'm already in love with their baked bronze formula, so if that eyeshadow formula is anything like that, so. You got no call, girl. <laughs> Restock. I mean, <laughs> it is what points. it is. Yeah. Take all my So points. I'm gonna swatch the first color. What? Wow. Wow. Right. And he still has some left on his finger. Right. right. And I still have like a lot of product here. Wow. That's a lot. Wow. So the next one I'm going to try is the first shade that I buy after Glow. She's really pretty too. She's a little bit lighter. I think in the formula consistency as well. But she's really pretty. That'd be a gorgeous. I know, right? Oh my god. So the next shade. Oh, wow. Yes, sis. Come I'm on. I'm telling you, we're like barely touching these shadows. We're barely like, we just only went like a little bit and that's it. Like they have a lot of pigment in them. And the formula is amazing from what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And then the final one, which is the matte brown. That's like butter. That's like, it, it literally just blended like butter. Like this is so cute. Like I live with these colors. Right and there, they're really, really pigmented, which I do appreciate. So Milani, you stepped it up, girl. Like, yeah, that's this is step up from what yeah, what I'm absolutely gonna try this palette very soon. So. I might be in the store buying it today. Right. <laughs> okay, these do feel a little bit more clay based. I so agree. I really feel like her mattes are not, not, they're like a happy medium. They're not mm -hmm. like super, super buttery. So I feel like it's mm, just gonna be like a mess and oxidized, but they're not too chalky to where it feels like it's mm -hmm. about. But 
chassis. I agree with that because when I touched the formula, it did feel a little bit like it would could be because it is. But I will say the shimmers felt they felt like they could blend amazing. Really? Which makes it really, really nice. Let's go. Shimmers are hard. So we'll try once we do a review of them, we'll see how we feel, girl. So we'll give it to complexion and we're gonna move on to the primers and scent sprays. So for primers, they sent me two primers. They sent me the Milani Prime Perfection Hydrating Face Primer. And I have here the oil-free mattifying one. I have oily skin, so I'm really interested in really trying this product and see how it works, at least on my skin personally. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, you have combination, right? I actually have normal skin, so oh, okay. it depends. I, I have seasonal skin, if that's the skin type. I really don't have, mm -hmm. like, a, my main skin concern is hyperpigmentation and okay. the retention of water. So this is oh. gonna be perfect. That's, that's good, like, that's really good. What's the claim on yours? The claim of mine is it primes skin to create a smooth canvas for makeup which evidently every primer should do <laughs> and it mattifies and perfects skin and the two other ones they had minimizes the look of pore and fine lines and it's lightweight non greasy feel what okay. is your point awesome so same thing with smooth canvas for makeup it's mm -hmm. also going to reduce the look of pores but also help with redness um and then obviously lightweight non greasy and then um, right? hydrates and creates a natural finish so mm. okay Girl, Ready. Ready for that, honey. That we, we we're gonna put you up to the test to see if that's true, honey. So the next thing that I also received from them as well is their Jet Set eye brush kit. Brochas. <laughs> so these brushes, I can't wait to try them out. They look really pretty, though. They we'll do. That, that packaging. packaging is gorgeous. Like the Jet Set eye brush kit. This is really really cute. And as you can see, we have pretty much like a transition color uh, blending brush. brush. We have a packing brush, and then we have a pencil brush, which is super convenient in any makeup look that you do. So this. It's something we're gonna keep our eyes on. They're all synthetic too. Oh, I love that. That's cute. Next, moving on, we're moving on to a classic product from Milani. One of their best selling products ever is the Milani Make It Last Spray. So we got the Make It Last, Make It Last Matte, and the Make It Last Dewy. So I'm gonna let you hold this. Right, thank you. And obviously, the claims from the original one are basically it three in one primes, corrects, and sets. The other one is that it's a lightweight spray, locks in makeup up to 16 hours. That's a claim. That's a claim. I'm actually going to the Ghana, Ghana, G-U-N-A, Ghana, Ghana concert uh -huh. tonight with my boyfriend, so I'm keeping this face on. Right. We're going to see. Ooh, we're going to see. That's really hours. putting it to the test, though. So. Um, so is this the normal one? Yeah, that's okay. the normal one. That's the long wear one. This okay. is the matte one. That's the blue one. I want to see what difference does it have. Is it just the finish of the spray, or does it have like something specific in the spray that's really different? It says three one lightweight um, spray awesome. locks in and makes the uh, uh oh that's gonna illuminate, like, yeah that's gonna illuminate and this one controls oil mattifies and sets makeup for up to sixteen hours so pretty much the same claim except the black one is matte the clear one is the long wear one and then the white one with the shimmer is pretty much the dewy one so I will say though I have had tried the original and I really do like this spray I think it really makes your makeup long pretty much long wear for a long time. But I will say, in terms of the finish, I don't know if it really corrects or really primes my skin like that, uh, but I do like it. It's a really great spray. So, so is it something that's claiming that you can prime as well as set the makeup too? Is that the claim? Yeah, the claim is Ooh. that you can prime with it, you can correct with it, like in between your steps. I know this one, because I actually use, um, mm -hmm. Like a mister in between my steps, and mm -hmm. you guys will see that on the get ready with me. I actually do use mm -hmm. a dewy mist, so right. I'm hype. Girl, I live for that. Like that is everything. So we're gonna move on to the next product that we have. Next case. Next case. So we're gonna move on. Yes, girl. And I think when it comes to Milani, we gotta talk about what is Milani known for. And if there's one thing that they're known for, it is blushes girl so we're gonna see all the blushes that we got here i have so many blushes in this package like so uh, many do you remember you, do you remember uh -huh. your first shade can you pick out which one was your first <gasps> i can actually can i think i have it here hold on uh it's this one yeah rose the oral this was <laughs> my first shade ever of blush and i thought this was always so cute like Mom. it's pink but it's pink with gold but it has like an illumination almost one like a peach one. really no, i listen <laughs> So we got a bunch of blushes, like a lot, a lot of blushes. We got the first, yes. This is the baked powder blush, and the other ones are the powder blush. This is, oh, there's just powder blush and baked powder. So the baked powders are obviously really well known. They're very infamous. The shades that we got here are the shade Sunset Passion, which is basically like a little bit of a pink with a hint of mauve, as you can see right here. And then another shade that we got as well is Rosy Oral, which is a blush I have used several times before, which is like that pink with that gold and that gold reflex in there. And then the other one that we have as well is the Luminoso. shade Luminoso. 
So pretty much, we're not gonna really swatch this because we have used this all the time and we know these are sickening products, so. Sickening. Yeah. I do like this one though because mm. I feel like this one could definitely be a bridal that works on everybody. Oh yeah. Because it doesn't have Luminosa. as much gold in it. Mm. Like it doesn't, like if you can see, mm. normally they come with like the little gold streaks in them. That one is more just like a soft. Yeah. It's like that same really pretty formula. I would consider this more to be more of a really, really matte formula compared to the other one. So yeah, it's like, it's so cute. It's like it's really, really done with it. Like, I love it. The color is really, really pretty. So. Yeah, the blushes. Your A1. So, another thing that they sent, which I have never seen from Milani actually before, is. Not in the. In and the I never thought they had one. You can get that in the store. I think right. that you have to order it, but I was excited about this. Right. If, if you guys have seen this in stores, please let us know. Send us For a link sure. because we never seen this. But this is the Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. We're dying to try this because I am so love. My lips are chapped. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody's gonna have a dry ass time, honey. Like, you My know, lips are chapped. So I am a sugar scrub queen. I mean, we live What's your this. favorite sugar scrub? What do you think it's gonna compare to? Um, my favorite, my current favorite one that I really, really love is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics one. Oh, oh okay. Their formula is. I've low tried key. the Velour one. I love how it tastes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, but I feel like it really. <laughs> I, love how it tastes. I feel like it really uh, exfoliates my lips a lot. I, oddly enough, have not found like a sugar scrub that I absolutely love. Oh my god, it smells delicious. Oh. It smells like, what is it called? Like candy tarts? Like it's so, I'm ready. There's so, oh my God, it's yummy. Let me touch it. I said, Milani had me with the packaging. So if oh. their product works great, if not, <laughs> I'm still buying it. So this is bag. more like a gel consistency, I see. Not really more of like a, you have to. yeah, like a dry. Cause the thing about the Jeffrey one and the thing about the Mac one and other brands as well, it's usually more texture. Like you can see mm -hmm. like the like sugar. The yeah, it really does look like it could exfoliate. This one is more gel based, but I haven't tried it yet, but we're dying to see how it really works though. Keep an eye on that. Oh. that we were both excited to see. I was like, we were both did like, they see you this? I was like, girl, when I, if I get <laughs> this, this, if I get this, like, we gotta but try this. But did they send it to you? Right, but did they send it, honey? What's it in the box? Right. Did it arrive? <laughs> girl, this is the Milani Strobe Light Liquid Highlighter. Yes. And this is in the shade um, Champagne Day Glow. It says it's for light to medium complexion, girls, for whoever you want to do. Girl, I'm gonna mix that right on <laughs> Girl, that's gonna be my topper. Right. She right. Was like, no, but I'm really excited about that product because I don't think, I think the only other one on the market that I've seen that I actually like, well, the first one was the Revlon Photo Ready one. Oh, really? So that was an OG. Like, that you know OG. that one? That, that is OG. That is old school and That's back when we was using L'Oreal True Match. No wow. shade, but that, yeah. that's, you know. And then the other one was the uh, NYX Born to Glow. I live on that. that I, used to I like that. those on the body. I will say so. I'm not a fan of them on my face just because I do feel like it changes the integrity of my formulas and foundation, but I like Milani. It. But uh, I already opened this package a little bit. Look at the outfit. It's almost like how bougie, like a dropper. I live. She's so for bougie. That. Like we live for the type of topper like that. Is and we're just gonna dab a little bit. Oh, she looks. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna swatch over pictures to see. Oh, girl. Oh, she's really pretty. Oh, she blends really well too. Oh my god. Y'all talk about for medium to fair, ma'am. I'm gonna use this. <laughs> this this for my. That is so cute. I live. This color. Oh this blends god. really really well though. Yes, I'm thinking it's all already. <laughs> right. I'm trying. Maybe it could be a dupe for the cover effect. We'll see. We'll Maybe see. even better. Because we'll I really like how this I looks. love it. It's not ashy at all. I'm telling y'all, like, this, sh the way this looks, it looks like it really blends into your skin. Even in person, like, we see there's no texture. So there's really no texture. I no like scent. It's not going to transfer either. Let me see. Let me see if it's sticky. No. Not sticky. I'm living. So this is a clean part of my hand. Actually, mm -hmm. it's not transferring. That's Amazing. So, tough. when it comes to that, Milani, a one two girl. So, but also let us know. Have you seen that in store? Actually, no. I, I haven't seen that one in store either. So, if you guys have seen that one in store. Please link us up. Link down below. So speaking about highlighters, so pretty much as well, I received highlighting palettes as well as individual highlighters. These are the Milani Stellar Light palettes, and this is in rose gold, which is pretty much 
a white champagne type of color, then you have your gold, then you have your pretty much your bronzy pink type of undertone. This reminds me of that highlighting palette that Matt came out with, not too long ago. Oh, the, yeah, the Hyper Rail? Yes. I love them. Yes. They're so very good for me. It looks exactly like Hyper Rail. I don't know how it swatches, so don't drag me in the comments. Yeah, girl, we ain't on it yet, so don't, don't, <laughs> don't crack it up for that. We don't okay? know. So the next one is uh, Hollow Bucket Beans, which is obviously this is more like a color highlighters, I'm like that trend that people love. Festival, realness. Exactly, yeah. Or that, like, oh, I want to be different. And stick that in the middle of the Right. Room. I know. So we're dying to try these and see how these look. But for the individual ones, what I love is I received three highlighters, and they're in three different shades, which I think fit all skin tones. Like, look at this. Do you have pretty much, like, your medium base shade, which is like that gold. I know that shade is so beautiful. This shade, which is the gold, is called Summer Glow. And this is a beautiful shade. Like, I feel like I could use this anytime. If you're fair, honestly, the shade Afterglow, because this is the highlight version of the shade from the Pure Passion palette. Okay. So this is pretty much like a beautiful, fair, light champagne color. This is gorgeous. And then we have the beautiful, just amazing, glowing, which is pretty much made for medium to dark skin tones. Like this is that pure bronze gold. Honey. Yes, ma'am. This is, this is a beautiful color. This is beautiful. I'll catch that later. <laughs> this yeah, she about to snatch everything. So first of all, the packaging is everything. I like that wave pattern. It's really, really cute. So let's swatch real quick. I will say, I already swatch and it feels, it's just a little bit dry, but it feels really soft. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. So let me read the claim on the back first. I feel so, like you have to build it as well. This one is only supposed to be enhancing your features with light reflecting pearls. So I don't feel like, I feel like maybe this could be the one to blend out the highlight and then you go back oh. and really like touch up the high points. So basically it's more like a Like base. a companion. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, like a companion product or maybe you apply the strobe light on the bottom first and mm -hmm. then build it with this because she's not that. She wasn't that really big. I mean, I, she's not. It looks good as a base. I will say, if you use a base yeah. and then you put another highlight on top, this might work out better. I just but, feel like this one wasn't like. Yeah. You see, like it's not. It's not like, really. See, I, again, I have nothing on my body. No type of. I'm just focused <laughs> like this. So, but it's not really competing with my like natural. Mm -hmm. I will say on my nose though, right now I'm applying it. Yeah. You could okay, see like this on my nose. Yeah, on the nose. Yeah. Right, like, okay, maybe on the skin. We, we're gonna try this out and then get ready with me, so we'll see. We'll see how we feel about this. But for now, we're, mm, we're on the fence with it. Yeah, I'm on the fence. Oh, this is something we were gagging for because it's summer, summertime is near, honey. So well, this is something me and her have been talking about for a while that we wanted to try for a long time. Trying to save us some points. Yes, Miss Dan, but we're also trying to look tan, bronze for the gods. So we got the Milani Intense Bronze right. Glow. And this is pretty much a liquid body highlighter, I'm bronzer. So so we're, I'm gonna open these two. We're gonna try these on. I can't wait. Oh, are they different colors? No, they're the same color. So it's everything. I live like the color. Oh my god, she's this bronze type of like oh bronze gold. Ah, she can't. Like I live. Oh my god. I will say you gotta pump. I think yes. we're gonna have one. I didn't think it was gonna have one either. Okay. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting actually. Me neither. Okay, so first thing now that we opened it is we noticed it has a pump, which it's I live so for much it. Pretty awesome. And the cap is beautiful. I know. So I'm gonna shake it. I don't know if it says to shake it, but it says here that this is a highly pigmented pearlized liquid bronzer. Delivers a warm luminous glow to the face and body. Light reflecting pigments and golden pearls combined with coconut extract to hydrate and leave the skin with a radiant finish. So, so this gorgeous. is gorgeous. In the plastic, and then out of the plastic, it's just... Yeah, it's everything. The packaging, it works. So I'm gonna start pumping out a little bit. Oh, does she come out quick? Wow, ooh. And I, oh, And I, oh, Ah! Wow, ooh. <gasps> oh my God, that is gorgeous. Whatever, you guys will see. Oh my God, do y'all see that though? That is. Oh, she gonna get you pecan tan for the oh. first time. <laughs> Girl, I live for this. This is very much pool party wear, like, bitch. We got this, like, this is everything. Oh, I live. Imagine that, and then you put the other, the highlighting palettes on top. Or oh, the dropper. <gasps> Bitch, I live. Oh, yes, honey. Is she ready? Yeah, she gagging. She so, gagging. I did, so this is going to Vegas with me. <laughs> oh, my God, right. It doesn't feel 
uh, sticky. It's not. It feels like it pretty much sets in. It's a little bit more of a gel consistency, but it dries, which I do like. If it stays like not matte, obviously, because it is a jewelry product, but it feels like it stays on your skin. For me, I feel like this would definitely be like a companion product. Like, I would mix this into my tanning oil. Oh, yeah. Yes, brown girls do tan. <laughs> right. Occasionally, right. I do want to bake a little bit. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but Bro. no, I, I will use this and I don't feel like it'll compete with my other ones. I feel like it'll, it'll the formula will maintain It's it. good though. I do feel like the formula is very working. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. It's I love it. So, Gorge. yeah, when it comes to the Intense Bronze Glow, the first impression, love this product. Too. We'll try it. We were sold before we even got it. <laughs> Same, for real. So, I will say this, if you're if you're not a glitter girl, mm -hmm. it probably won't be for you just because it's a it's chunkier glitter. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, something to wear. If I, you don't I like, don't, like a high shine, then yeah, this will probably be I a don't, um, What I will say about this product, this product is not similar to uh, another product that's well known, which is Body Bible by Fenty Beauty. What I don't like about Fenty Beauty is the sense that the product, uh, it is very pearlized, so it does feel a little bit more of a glitter that's um, crushed up a little bit more. It's more uh, refined. But uh, what I will say is that this one doesn't feel sticky. It feels like it really dries on your skin and it stays there. Body Lava does feel very sticky when you put it on. It, it feels almost like, like a gel consistency that never dries. So, yeah, but as far as I'm concerned, first impression, really, really good product. So, Milani, you're really, you're really coming for the girl. You come in! Okay, shut up! So now we're gonna move on to our next product, and these are the Milani Lip Plumpers. And these are called Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumpers. And here we have the shade number one, it was a shade 10 called Gold Dust. Shade number one champagne, which is such a beautiful, like light nude. This for me would be everything. Like I love this color. Then we have the shade zero four luminoso, which is also one of the blush shades. Shade. Well, oh yeah, yeah, blush. Yeah. And it's really, really pretty. It looks very similar to the highlighter, but you can see a little bit more reflect. Like, yeah, y'all can see like it's a little bit similar, but a little bit different as well. And then you have a mauvey color, which is so pretty. It's called rosewood. I would, I would love to see this color. Yes. Oh my god, I live. Yeah. So we're dying to try this. I heard from a lot of people that does sting a little bit, so we're not fully sure of that, but we will, we will check that out. So I don't know. Like, there's no claim on it. So we'll go on yeah. the website. Yeah, there's no claim. It's just a nourishing lip plumper. <laughs> On flips. So next, moving on, something that I got, which I actually got in my shit, I didn't get like a lot of them, but I just wanted to see. I got the Conceal and Perfect Long Wear Concealer. Mm. So I'm really dying to try this. I will see how it really brightens up uh, my under eye, how it looks on my face overall. And it has no claims as well. It's just Long Wear Concealer, and we'll see how it works. I don't know if it's full coverage, medium, so. I'm so interested to see because this is supposed to be Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Mm. So why would you need to make a companion concealer if Right. But I get it. I get the marketing, Milani. Mm -hmm. Maybe I it's just, like to brighten up the under eye if you yeah. have like any sort of something you need to correct. So may maybe it could be for that, but I do get your point. Your point makes a lot of sense. Because if it's that full coverage, you shouldn't need to have a concealer. Need a concealer. So. But we're going to move on for that. We're going to see. And now we move it on to powders. So for powders, we only got... I'm terrified. I only got two powders, and I, I know why she's terrified, and I'm terrified another way is I got the Milani Translucent Powder. This is in the shade Banana. And my thing is, and I don't mind it, it's just my undertone is not warm. So when I use warm tone powders, they tend to look a little I'm bit warm. I'm warm, man, I'm scared. But I mean, you can see on camera, like, <laughs> I'm golden, I'm a golden Barbie, I'm right. very much warm, but... Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But looks... this is like, like, that is like, oh my god, like... But I was scared, what was I, what else was I scared about? We swatched something earlier that I was scared and I was like, presently surprised, so I'm like, crazy. Wait, was it the blush of the highlight? Oh, it was the bronzer. The bronzer, yeah. The bronzer. I didn't think it was going to be that dark, so... Girl, we'll see though. But another powder that we got as well, this is a pressed powder, but this is a Prep Set and Go Transparent Face Powder, which is basically a translucent powder that's in pressed form. This is usually more to mattify. <laughs> I'm so scared. Girl, I know, I know. Like, this, I would, I personally, I just said you, I would not use this for my she under eyes. white. I would only use this to mattify, and still, I'm a little bit curious to see how translucent this actually is. We're gonna try it though. We're gonna try, try all of it. We're gonna try so. I'm terrified. We're gonna see. Yeah, so now we're gonna move on yeah, uh -huh. so to one of my favorite parts of all of this. This is the eye toppers. And this is from their collection. This is from the Hypnotic Lights collection. And I have all the shades here from the Hypnotic Lights collection. And there's so many pretty colors. Like, 
you have like blue metallics, you have like pink, you have like a champagne color, you have a white reflex, and I love them all. My favorite one that I see that I'm really dying to try is this one called... Is it that one? Yeah. <laughs> This That's one, the one I have my eye on too. Right. This one is called Starlight. This yes. is a very much like a light we'll Pisces. Pearlized. We like the same stuff. Yeah, Pisces, like, Pisces is like, girl, we'll be like that. <laughs> What's so crazy is that this, um, mm -hmm. what is it called? The Hypnotic Lights, mm -hmm. that actually spawned a whole line. Because I remember when they launched their oh, really? liquid lipsticks, the Amore mm -hmm. one. And um, now it's it's nice to see this expand now. Into, like, that's cool. That's really nice. That lets you know that they pay attention to what people like. So if they, people really like that collection, awesome. But this is similar. The only part we can really compare this to is to the Stila ones. The Stila and the Makeup like, Forever. Makeup Forever put right. out one. I really am interested to see how this works. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I probably will, am going to mix it with a mixing medium just because oh, yeah. I actually Thanks. have some where to be. Mm -hmm. So, but maybe another day when maybe I don't have anywhere to be, see. I can try what it. I, what I'm gonna do now is I'm pretty much gonna unbox the shade that we both really wanted to try. This is the shade yeah, Starlight. Oh! Again, ah. I feel like the, the plastic uh -huh. just does not give you yeah, this is not okay, even it. So this is not focusing, but y'all know what I mean. But basically, this is similar. As you can see, the compartment and everything is similar to the one from Stila. So I'm gonna swatch this to the strand. Is this one? Yeah, that's what kind of the sunset. And swatch this. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, these are pretty. Look at that. It's like, you can see the reflex right there. So basically, try to like, turn that out. Okay. Because I'm really, I'm really interested in seeing how this one is. Cause it looks, it looks like it's really big and that's why I look for that. All that, everything. When the light hits it, oh wow. There we go. It has like a blue reflex to it, which I really, really do like. I'm gonna get oh, used wow. to like... mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, Ugh. Right. But I will say, this product, the reflex is giving, like, I live. Like, it's really, really big and so. It's actually super chunky too. I didn't think it was gonna be that much better. Mm -hmm. uh, Mine is a little bit more like champagne instead of white. I love yeah, this is pretty. what's this happening is a beautiful here. color, so. We live for that. So these uh, eye toppers were really good. I got my eye on these eye toppers. Hell yeah, like we about to bop that out. From the Hypnotics like collection as well, we got the lip toppers. So right here we have the shade, let me come up see. We have the shade 04, which is luminous light. We have the shade 02, which is flashing light. And then we have the shade 01, which is Luster Light. And funny thing is, Luster Light is also a shade in the eye topper. So you have the eye topper and then you have the lip topper as well. Which is nice to know. It's nice to like, obviously like detail everything to match mm -hmm. each other. So pretty much everything is similar when it comes to the product. So then, right now we're gonna fill this out. I've never been really a big fan of eye, uh, lip toppers. I've never been the biggest fan of them. Okay, so I did. Stila mm -hmm. came out with them. I feel like again, shout mm -hmm. out to Stila. They were like the yeah. first company to really like start doing like toppers and stuff like this. And yeah, this and Joy, as I, I will say, yeah. Oh, Joy, yes. Yeah, Joy. And then, I think Joy was actually first. I think Joy. I want to say Joy was, well, I, in my. We're not sure, but we're just saying like. It reached we me them, first. Yeah. Exactly. I saw it first. Right. <laughs> you, you did the lip toppers, girl. Right. right. So, but I liked it because uh -huh. it was only like a holiday thing in Sephora and then they finally mm -hmm. made it like a, a permanent thing mm -hmm. but then they took them away from Stila so mm -hmm. Stila actually doesn't have any lip tappers that I know of in Sephora. I All think right, you can still true. get them at Ulta on the gondola but I think. So right now I have this one this is a lip topper and lust your life. So I'm not gonna put this on my lips but I ain't gonna swatch this before well on my hand. Oh, this oh, is that's really Oh, yes. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. That's really pretty, too. And then this one oh, is the gorgeous. flashing light. She is not my cup of tea, but right. actually, I Actually, she might be kind of cute, though. I was she like, might... I stand corrected. She's actually... She's actually really pretty. Because really it looks cute. really dark in the component. It, it does. Say that. It does. But in person, it looks a little bit more lighter. Chance, color. Like... I live, though. These two, they're... they're... Well, I might actually try this. This looks lit. So... I'm Are you the claim to dry down that? I'm not. We don't know what the sure. claim is, but we're gonna find out today. Yeah, it really doesn't. I, I noticed a lot of the lip products don't really have claims or anything. They should say they're holographic lip topper, or the lip pumper. Lip it is what they are. So. That's what you get. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, move on. Know. We're almost done with this box, and we're pretty much gonna move on now to pretty much the basics, which is matte lipsticks. Lip and the shades that I have here, I live for this. First of all, the names of these. Oh, I haven't read Are so fucking cute. Like one of the shades is called I Am Pretty. Yes, I. One is called I Am Worthy. I am positive, I am bold, I am fierce. Oh, how cute is that? I live for that, those are really pretty. My favorite one in terms of the way they look and the undertones, I am worthy has such a beautiful like light nude, especially, and this is more like a brownish nude. 
I can see myself wearing this. It has like a hint of a peach as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna swatch this over here just to see. We're saying. So basically, this color, I am worthy. It's low key my favorite color. Like, this is really, really cute. But another one that I really love, um, I am pretty, which is an even lighter nude. Yes, that color is gorgeous. I am, um, hold on, let me read it again. I am pretty. It's very much of a lighter nude version of that color, and I love, like, I could see myself wearing these colors, like, Lolita, every day. Lolita, too. Lolita, too. Right. right. Oh, my God. They does look like, like Lolita. This one looks like Lolita 1, uh -huh. and then that one looks like Lolita So, we find, oh, damn, then we find a dupe, then. If you're able, if you're not interested in, you know, training from that individual, <laughs> then you can go ahead and get right. this matte lipstick from Milani in the shades. I am worthy and I am pretty. Zero 05 and zero 07. Look at as well, this beautiful color is called I am fierce. This is a strong, like, nude brown red. Like, oh, it looks actually more red blue in the camera. Oh, camera. But this looks like an amazing red. Let's watch this. I know this is gonna be sick. Man. Oh, it's a blue red, yeah. Oh, yes, Miss Hold on, let me watch that, right? Girl, that yes. is beautiful. I love that. And you can tell they're really, really bad in the formula. Also, the compartment. They have the Milani logo right here, which is so cute. So, we live for this. Like, this is amazing. What shade is that? that is. Uh, I'm bold. That's really pretty. That for you, that's the same color. Like I could see you. I never that. wear it, but especially, <laughs> but especially for a summer shade, it's a really. Cute I'd shade. never wear it, but right. it's cute. This one though is the darkest one. I would never see myself wearing this. I'd you wear could that. Probably, yeah, you could probably <laughs> rock this, girl. But they say right. for me, so. I'd wear that. This is called I'm Positive, which is so cute. Sweet. I love this color. I in love person, this it looks really, really like great marketing. Like a really, really dark. This is the definition of like a dark, dark nude. This is so pretty. Like I live for this. This is everything, okay? So as far as the formula comes, I feel like they're kind of bad, but they're still a little bit queen based. Yeah, I don't feel like it's, I feel like it's more of that modern matte where yeah, it's like not velvet. gonna dry you out, yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels a little bit more, it feels like it could be really comfortable on your lips. And you might have to build them a little bit, but from what I see, they look really, really nice. So we live for that, we support that. Now moving on to possibly the last three products, we're gonna move on now to the mascara. This is a mascara by mascara. Milani. It's called the Highly Rated 10 in 1 Volume Mascara. And I'm gonna read the claims from this really well because it has a lot of claims as we see here. It says that it builds the lips, it has extreme volume, even saturation, defines, protects, conditions, no smudging, no flaking, no plumping. That's fine, please. That's a lot of shit you talk. <laughs> no, but, but let's see. But another thing that I see here as well is that it has Akasha, wait, Acacia Jojoba Complex. So it's a plant-based formulation. Yeah, she conditions, anti-smudging, no flaking, no clumping. It has no parabens, it has DT5, no alcohol, no perfume. So she's cruelty free. She's cruelty free. And this one you can leave open for three months. Oh really? So, so yeah. pretty much that's the standard time of like mascaras. My benefit ones, my favorite mascara is the benefit roller lash. That is like six months. So well, I think for the price point too, mm -hmm. we gotta remember like, you know, it is a cheaper price point, so obviously there's not gonna be the same long day. Right, great. But, but at the same time, you know, because it is a cheaper one like, The one? Oh, right. Oh. Got the packaging, this is so cute. This like stars. What does it remind me of? Um, it kind of reminds me of something from like Open the King. Really? It's it, giving me like Lancome vibes. Yeah, Lancome vibe, but mixed with like something like kid friendly. I don't know. Like, it, Maybe because it's the stars. Made. It's the stars it that really cute, goes though. Through, yeah. But let me see, does it have a scent? She actually doesn't smell like mascara. Mascara always smells right. like Right, it has like that particular scent. You know what she's talking about. This one actually doesn't smell like anything. It smells, no scent. And the one, that's actually thick gums. Like you can see that bitch is real Oh, this so. definitely reminds me of Perversion. Now that you yeah, see that, it, with that brush, mm -hmm. that thick brush. I'm yeah. really interested to see. Also, if you look, this is the larger one. This is the normal size that you get when you buy it. The other one is the mini size of travel. So you can see the difference. So pretty much it's just the one, really. But I think you get a similar amount of product, which is not that much. But this mascara looks really, really nice. So we'll see how it looks. And, and for the favorite. final two products, so this is more of a preference thing because right. my favorite color is blue. So. so I decided to get, because I've never tried this before. I actually have never even seen this before. I like have seen this one. Oh, this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will have to try and see how I feel about this, but this is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. I have the eyeliner pencil in the shade Keep On Sapphire, which is the, as you can see, this deep Obviously, dark blue. Obviously, going to choose that color. So his <laughs> favorite shade of blue is actually Sapphire. I love Sapphire. Sapphire, sapphire is like sapphire. everything. And then the other one is Midnight Matte, which is like a really, really dark blue. That's I can't cool. wait to try this, because this reminds me of the NYX concealer. The bigger, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my the God. The color Just looks please, like Milani, Milani. Please show us the lights because we oh are my God, tired. Yeah. What about hypnotic light liners? I'm ready to check. We coming up with plans. You, you need a PR king, girl? We got you. So, I need them. So I'm about to open this and just Imagine see. Imagine this is an eyeliner. <gasps> oh, the lip top is. 
Yeah. Oh my God, we got plans. <laughs> <laughs> Milani, get at us. Milani, you know, get that DM, girl. So pretty much I have here the liner, and we're gonna, I'm gonna swatch a little bit. I will say the applicator looks really like a spongy applicator. I kind of wish I would love that. Um, I'm not a kind of sponge applicator. So are you more of a brush instead of a felt tip? Yeah. See, and I'm the opposite. I prefer felt tip. Well, let's just be clear. I'm lazy. I'm not putting on <laughs> eyeliner. Really thick because the one I thought I could. Yeah, she's a blue. Blue, blue that I beat that I want. Like, she's actually really, really famous for watching. Oh, she's really nice, actually. But I will check if she dries like fully, fully matte. That's where the question. Is. Problem is if it cracks. Because mm. that's the one thing I hate about the price is that one, they dry darker, mm -hmm. two, they crack. So. And the worst one is the white one. The white one, really. Oh my god, I am dying to try the Morphe white eyeliner because that NYX white eyeliner, that is trash. That is. <laughs> Season this is, bitch, because nobody interested in that shit for real. Cat, cat, poo, poo. Whatever the fuck she is, girl, she needs to get the fuck out. So, but I will say this um, eyeliner, I do like it. I feel like it's very pigmented for what it sees, because you can I see the blue. So but we'll see how it is. I am going to try this out to see if in a full day wear test if it cracks. So this is on the lookout. And then for our last product, we had the Milani Stay Put Pencil Eyeliner. So it's more like a gel? Yeah, I think this is more like a gel consistent. So this could be a little bit more comfortable. Next thing we're moving on is the Milani Stay Put Water Liner. And this looks like This reminds me of the 24-7. Um, oh my god, Urban Decay pencils. Yes. yes, I love They're my favorite. Okay, Milani, we see you. Oh, wow. Oh, now that, that is pigment. And it's literally like gliding on. It's like, literally like gliding on. Like I literally had no struggle. Like one straight line and you get pigment. And let me let me just swatch so people can see. People can know the real deal. Y'all see that? Like, that is everything. I love it. Even the packaging is actually looks very similar to the packaging from 24 Yeah, it looks okay. So, this is actually very similar. I can't wait to try this. So, you'll probably see it mixed with the Blue Blood palette. This mm -hmm. will be the So, we'll keep an eye out on those two. So, thank you guys for watching. We totally appreciate you watching this video. I want you to go ahead, like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And notification bell. Yes, and as well as go check out her social media handles. I will leave them all down in the description box thank below. So tell her Rocky sent you. Y'all tell her what's up, what's good. And if you have any suggestions of what we should do next, you leave it down there in the comments and we'll see and we'll maybe try it out. For that, turn on your notifications and I hope you have a great day, okay? Bye. Bye.